Fossil evidence tells us that life has existed on Earth for a very, very long time, at least 3.5 billion years, and probably longer. Those early life forms were very simple, yet today we share the planet with an estimated 10 to 20 million diverse species of varying complexities. And DNA evidence strongly supports the idea that all living things share a common ancestor. But how did one ancestral life form give rise to so many diverse species, plus the innumerable species in the fossil record that went extinct along the way? After all, the changes in populations that people have observed in real time are small. We haven't seen whole new categories of species take shape before our eyes. But that's just because people have been watching for only a short time in many cases just a few decades and certainly no more than a few thousand years. It takes longer for small changes to add up to something bigger. Believe it or not, the mechanisms that give rise to wildly diverse species are the same as the ones that drive small changes. The pattern goes like this. Reproductive barriers cause lineages to branch. Mutation and allele shuffling generate variation within each branch. And natural selection causes those branches to diverge as each population adapts to different surroundings. Repeated again and again, this pattern of branching and divergence can expand one lineage into millions. Over the 3.5 billion year history of life on Earth, even if each lineage branched only once every 130 million years, there has been enough time for one lineage to diverge into 100 million. And many lines of fossil evidence tell us that lineages branch much more often. For example, the oldest animal fossils are just 540 million years old. Every animal species alive today has come about since then. Just within the last 60 million years, the first primates appeared and then diversified. Cetaceans returned to the sea and gave rise to all living whales and dolphins. While evolution usually involves small changes, occasionally a big innovation comes along. Like when a bigger cell engulfed two smaller cells, giving rise to the first eukaryotic life. Single cells joined together and took on specialized functions, giving rise to multicellular life. Plants and animals moved to land, where they had access to new resources. The duplication and divergence of genes, chromosomes, and even whole genomes have allowed organisms to evolve new structures and functions. From what we can observe, we're able to conclude that the patterns we see acting today are the same as the patterns that acted in the past. With repeated rounds over billions of years, reproductive barriers, mutation and allele shuffling, and natural selection, one ancestral lineage has expanded into the diversity of life that surrounds us today.